Do you still have dreams? For many North Americans, a dream is nothing but an old-fashioned idea replaced by the harsh reality of a modern world. Longer work hours, higher debt, fewer raises, horrible bosses, less family time. Who's got time for dreams when everyone's just trying to get by? We're here to officially announce that WFG is bringing dreams back. And we're not doing it for just the ultra-wealthy like others are. We're doing it for everyone. Every age, every background, every gender, every experience level. Whoever you are, we're here to help you. And help starts with a financial education. When people know how money really works, they can reduce debt and enjoy the confidence that comes from knowing their families are protected financially. They can discover the excitement that comes from a solid strategy to save for the future and the hope that one day they might become financially independent. But we don't stop there. We open the door to anyone to become a business owner and be part of our mission to help others. We don't want anyone to shrink the size of their dreams to fit the size of their opportunity. That's why there's no limit to how many people can reach our top promotion levels. And that's why we don't put any limits on how much you can earn with us. Success is not reserved for a few. It's offered to anyone willing to learn, to work hard, to grow. We believe anyone with the right support can transition from where they are today as someone's employee to where they could be tomorrow as an entrepreneur who owns their future. If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to help build theirs. When you know how to protect your family financially, when you take control of your money, when you're enabled to succeed, an amazing thing happens. Dreams are all you want to talk about. If you still have dreams, start here. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing tonight? Oh my God, we've got so many people on this line. Super, super amazing, amazing. Oh wow, this is unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for joining. It's your girl, Odetta. I am a market senior marketing director with WFG. And tonight you guys are in for an amazing, amazing treat. So a little bit about myself, I am a Guyanese born immigrant and parents have been living here for over 30 something years. And when we migrated here in America, um, just like many of you who are immigrant from other parts of the world, um, we came here and we were sold the American dream of work hard. And you know what? That's gonna help you work hard, go to school, get a degree, and everything is gonna be good. But how did that work out? How did that work out? Ask yourself. How did that work out for us? So, I tell you what. How did that work out? Can you guys hear me, by the way? If you can hear me, let me know. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, can everyone hear me? make sure awesome, awesome. Great. Great. great thank you guys thank so you much guys for, for giving me that giving thumbs, up. Me that thumbs up. up so, so like I said and um, so many of so us of you know we come know, here we're, we're sold the American, American dreams, dreams. We think that, you know, life is going to be great. All we need to do is just work hard, get a degree, go to school, and we're going to be fine. Well, I am here to say 
it is not all that cracked up as it is and um, because many of us have done that and how how has it worked out for us right um coming from guyana living here in the u.s 20 something years now and um, did everything that they told us went to nyu graduated got that degree had a great six-figure paying corporate job but even with all of that guess what i still was not in control of my future i got fired i got laid off and went up went down and but what i realized is that you're never truly in control of your future and uh, when you're working for someone else or when you're at the mercy of someone else's paycheck so fast forward within the last three years this amazing company that i'm with today world financial group has given me an opportunity and several other of us how to take control of our future and learn about money because so many of us we go to school and we never ever once learn about personal finance right we go to school and they teach us how to make money or even how to get a good paying job but what about when we do get that job how do we manage our personal finance right and as a professor i can tell you guys firsthand i see this every day in my classroom i poll my students every semester how many of you your parents have set aside money for you guys to be in this classroom guess what sadly to say not a lot and so what our organization is doing is changing the narrative when it comes to personal finance. We are building a new industry in the financial industry because you know what? The financial industry only caters to people who have a lot of money. And we know that you don't have to have a lot of money to get to where you want to be. You just have to know what to do even by saving little amount. And so tonight I want to talk about why we do what we do and who are we you see there's really two types of families and it's ironic that we live in one of the wealthiest countries in the world oh my god everybody want a piece of the usa right but yet still we have so many money problems yet still so many of us are living paycheck to paycheck we are broke and some of us that are investing we don't even understand investment and so as a result we're losing money when we're investing money right and um, so let's talk about the two types of families that they are you have your family a which is 95 percent of us right that's middle america these are people who are struggling to even understand how to properly plan for their retirement they have no idea how much i should be saving how much i need to have when i'm retired right and then our kids we're not even saving for our kids college and if we are again we're not saving enough or in the right buckets for our kids and on top of it we have a spending crisis we are spending more than we're making right and so debt becomes a way of life then you have your family b which is five percent of wealthy america this is the rich this is the one percent and you know what they realize they understand how money work they know that it doesn't matter what's going on i gotta pay myself first right when they pay themselves first because they have financial education they know exactly how to save for their retirement they know how to save for their kids college so their kids are coming out college free debt free and on top of it they understand proper protection sadly to say since the year has started i've had three people very close to me that I've been trying to talk to for the last year about getting some proper protections guess what life happens and they kept saying I'll get to it I'll get to it I'll get to it now now I have a heart attack that had a 10-hour surgery now we also have two people that were diagnosed with cancer and so these are things that sets us back in life when we don't have proper protection in place and so family b they understand these basic financial concepts and so what we realize is most people don't plan to fail they just fail to plan right so let's talk about how money works because like i said many of us never ever learn these concepts even some of my faculty professors they might be teaching finance but they still don't understand personal finance so let's talk about it 
because you guess what spending is a habit and so is saving so if we could just switch it up we'll be a lot better off imagine guys if you could just save ten dollars a day we're on a we're on a zoom training today and the person that was conducting the training he said it's amazing that his neighbor who has two bentley in his driveway or garage is broke how could you have two bentleys and you're borrowing money from your neighbor well guess what because people are not saving money smart right so let's talk about saving your money. Did you know that if you were saving just $10 a day and most of us are spending $10 a day, it is slipping through the cracks. If you were saving just $10 a day, that's $300 per month. In 30 years, knowing where to put it, right? Earning about 8% interest, you're looking at almost half a million dollars. Almost half a million. Now guys, ask yourself this question. How many of you on this call right now have been in the USA for 30 years plus? Or your parents have been here for 30 years plus? And had they known this information, they could have been looking at a sizable retirement account of close to half a million dollars. And let's say it's a husband and a wife, right? Two people saving that kind of money almost a million dollars in saving guys and i don't know about you but i'm coming up on my 30 year in america right so imagine knowing this information how powerful it can be because it's not what earned that count but rather what you keep you could make a lot of money and you still end up being broke right what we find a common characteristics among wealthy people is that they're very conscientious about their spending they are adamant about paying themselves first and saving and investing their money smart and so one of my favorite uncle in the financial industry uncle warren buff uncle i have so many of them i get them mixed up all the time right albert einstein you know the guy with the crazy don king looking hair he was totally a genius um, he came up with the rule of 72, which is compound interest. And guys, I never even heard about this concept. Compound interest is one of the eight wonders of the world. And Albert Einstein said, in order to, real, to calculate or understand how your money is doubling or growing, always take the number 72 and divided by the rate of return. Now he's a genius, right? He's a scientist, he's a mathematician, he is a genius. And so he came up with this formula and now let's, let's apply this formula to our money. Let's say for example, 4%. You're saving your money, let's say in the bank. We know the bank is not giving us 4%, but let's say in the bank, because most of us can relate to the bank. Let's say you're putting your money in the bank earning 4%. 72 divided by four is 18 years. So your money is going to take 18 years to double. You put $10,000 in the bank today, growing 4%, 18 years from now, it goes to 20,000. Another 18 years, it goes to 40,000. That's at the 4% interest rate. Now, let's say we put it somewhere earning 8%, double, right? So same ten thousand dollar concept now 72 divided by eight is nine years your money is doubling now in a shorter space of time so again you start with ten thousand nine years it doubles to 20 and not in nine years it doubles to 40 and not in nine years and so forth now in the 36 years you end up with a hundred and sixty thousand now some people may say but odetta if i'm doubling my interest from four to eight Shouldn't my money also double from 40,000 to 80,000? Genius. That's the power. That's the magic of compound interest. No, it didn't double, but it quadruple, right? And now let's say 12%. 12% divided by 72 is six years. The higher the interest, the shorter time your money's taken to double. So let's go with the same. $10,000 example, 36 years fast forward, your money grows to $640,000. Guys, what I want you to understand here is we got to put our money in accounts 
that is one a higher interest so it can double in a shortest time span so you know what the bank does when you and i put our money in the bank let's say the bank guarantees us a fixed interest of four percent in 36 years they make assuming they put it earning 12 percent, which they know where right and we also know where too that's why we're doing is these webinars they put it somewhere earning 12 percent, and they pocket six hundred thousand and only give you forty thousand at that fixed four percent but you and i know the banks are not even giving us four percent most banks across the u.s is giving you between 0.05 to one percent basic interest so the bank is really banking and stacking our money or our coins as i like to say so that's the first rule you got to understand where you're putting your money at to get a higher interest and you can do the match yourself to know how much your money is going to double in a shorter space of time now you know what's ironic we don't know this information but this information is working against us every day now this is if you were saving and investing what about if this was a loan earning 12 percent most of you guys your credit card your student loan your car loan your mortgage all of those loans divided by 72 with the interest and you will be scared to know how much that money is doubling and working against you so if this is a loan at 12 percent and the average credit card is not even 12 percent you were talking 18 and above but let's say for argument's sake we have a credit card earning 12 percent we borrowed ten thousand from the credit card company in 36 years that ten thousand if you don't pay it back and you're not aggressive and you know you don't know this information you could be paying back six hundred and forty thousand what you don't know it's gonna cost you and you know what knowledge is not power until it's supplied so knowing this information is great but if you don't apply it to your money it still serves you no purpose let's talk about the second favorite rule of mine which is another one of my favorite uncle benjamin franklin so benjamin franklin said nothing is certain in life but debt and taxes and i always tell people if i'm gonna die i'm gonna die rich because i know these concepts and i know when i die rich my offspring are gonna be richer right so if we know we all gonna die why not die rich and leave money to our offspring right so let's talk about taxes there's three tax vehicle when you put your money in a check-in savings cd stocks or mutual fund irs okay our next uncle the irs who we've never seen said you know what because most people put their money in these type of accounts let's tax them now so as your money grows immediately you're being taxed on that money right now if you put your money in a tax later account which very few people are doing assuming their job is giving them a retirement account a 401k a 403b an IRA, SEP IRA, annuity or pension. I love when I talk to clients and they tell me, oh my God, Odetta, I have a great pension. And I'm like, do you even know how those work? Do you even know how those work? Yes, it's great, but you're gonna be paying a lot of taxes. So let's talk about the tax later vehicles, which is your 401k, 403b, even 457, IRA, annuity or pension. When you and I put our money in these accounts, yes we are saving we're saving for our retirement so that's a good thing however do you and i know how much taxes is going to be in the future 10 15 20 30 years down the road do we know how much tax is going to be nobody knows right so in the beginning yeah we don't pay any tax and that's how they get us oh don't pay don't worry about the taxes you don't have to pay taxes but they're gonna get us on the back end. And on the back end, it's gonna be greater. Because every year, the same way how cost of living goes up, 
taxes my friend has to go up in fact they're even talking right now about taxes going up next year all forms of taxes so if taxes are going to go up that means you're really not going to keep a lot of money in your pocket on top of it you don't even know how much right and now let's talk about the third tax bracket which is the one percent or the five percenters tax advantage what is tax advantage tax free who doesn't love tax free because if you have tax free it means you're keeping more money in your pocket so those are your Roth IRAs which most of you have heard about 529 college saving plans executive bonus long-term care and cash value life insurance love those right so ask yourself right now where is your money sitting and if it's sitting in the first two you want to get in touch with the person who invited you to this webinar because you my friend your money is now working for you and you're definitely gonna be paying more in taxes later how much nobody knows so the third option when it comes to the rule of money is understanding investment so many people love to tell me oh Dada, I'm investing and I'm like, do you know how investment work? What are you putting your money in? How is it growing? And they're like, I don't know. I mean, I just save, you know, I just, I just save, I just invest. Like, I don't know, right? So let me tell you, there's three types of investment. You could have a fixed investment where you're getting a fixed interest. I have a problem with the word fixed because first of all, fixed means your money is stifling. It cannot go up. But yes, it cannot go down either. So it is fixed. Let's say typically fixed products are bank products. You go to a bank, you open an account, and they're going to give you a fixed rate. Now, the good thing with that is that your money is safe. But it's not a lot of growth. And this is why the line is flat. Meanwhile, everything else around us is going up. But our money is not going up, right? It's safely losing to inflation. And if you don't know what inflation is, let me give you this very simple, right? 10 years ago, when you bought a bag of chip, it was probably two for a dollar and 99 cents, or actually less than 99 cents. Today, that same bag of chip, which half of it is probably air anyway, is actually more, right? So inflation is the cost of goods and services, which every year it goes up now let's talk about variable this is a second investment type when you put your money in variable investment you're literally investing in the stock market right so if you google the word variable variable means it is unpredictable unreliable and unstable why are we putting our money our hard-earned money, because I know y'all working very hard for these coins, right? Why would you want to put your hard-earned money that you're saving for your future, your retirement when you're old and you can't wait to stop working even right now, in an account where it's unreliable, unstable, and unpredictable? The market go up, your money go up. The market go down, your money also go down. So yes, there is growth potential, but you have no safety. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a millionaire today and a pauper tomorrow. But when you have your money in variable accounts, you're dealing with the roller coaster of the market, right? So 2020 is here. Every day, there's 10,000 people retiring. So all the folks that were on track to retire this year, let's just say hypothetically they had a million dollars in whatever retirement account they have, which I've been doing this for three years and I've yet to see a million dollars in retirement. But let's just say for easy math, they had a million dollars saved up in whatever retirement strategy. It's in a variable market. It's in a variable account. What happened since COVID happened? The market went down. 30%. So now you just went from a million dollars to 700,000 and you still got to deal with taxes. And even people who are already in retirement are still going to lose money based on where the money is sitting. No bueno, right? And then you have 
what's called index investment. These are typically insurance companies that offers this type of investment where it took the good for the fix, which is safety, and it took the good for the variable, which is growth. So now you have safety and growth. Big, big, big deal. Your money is safe and your money is growing. It doesn't matter what the stock market does. It doesn't matter what if the company goes up, goes down, goes yonder, sideways, you are not losing a penny. And as I like to say, you're stacking your coins. So how is your money growing right now, guys? If your money's in a variable account, you're up and down. You're like on the roller coaster, right? You're gonna make some money today, you're gonna lose some money tomorrow. And some people tell me, well, Odetta, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm okay with losing. Well, if you know what I know, it's not okay to be losing money. I don't even care if it's a dollar, right? So why we do what we do and how we help families. We help families with their personal finance. We offer free financial education. Every Saturday we have a free workshop with these different topics, how to increase your cash flow. Because guess what? Everybody needs to have multiple source of income. I think COVID has slapped us over the head and wake us up that one source of income is not enough. You can barely even pay the bills, right? So we gotta have multiple source of income. We gotta know how to manage our expense. And for those of you who have kids and grandkids, maybe you were not fortunate enough to get an Ivy League university or get an Ivy League college, or you're, you were stuck with student loan. But with this information that we share to families, maybe you could do it for your kids, or maybe you can do it for your grandkids. And so we offer college planning workshops. How about emergency fund? Everybody needs to have three to six months, in fact, forget three to six months let's go to 12 months because if you have more money in emergency it's not gonna hurt you on top of it we teach families all different types of life insurance there's so many different types of life insurance and first of all people are clueless when it comes to understanding insurance I spoke to a girl yesterday who's in her early 20s and I said you know let's set up a free financial session so I could share some information with you and I asked her I said do you have life insurance and she said yes I, you know I'm I have a life insurance. I said, great, how much are you covered for? She said, 50,000. I'm like, girl, 50,000? What are you doing with 50,000? Let's set up a time and talk. So another misconception, most people who even have life insurance, they have debt insurance. It only pays out when they die. But what if you get sick? The three people that I mentioned to you about, the person that got, you know, the cancer and the person that had the surgery, the heart attack, 10 hour surgery, you know, he didn't die. So how are we helping them? Well, that's why this information is so important. And we also teach families how to build their wealth. Because if you don't know how to build wealth, and let's say you build it just around the way, because most of us are just doing things around the way. We're just trialing and error. We make some money, we lose some money. We're just figuring it out as we go. We don't really know the proper ways of building wealth. We don't know the tools. We don't know the system. We, we don't know these things. We're just winging it, right? And for some of us, it's working. And for others, it's not. We're going to teach you how to build your wealth and you could be your own money manager. Several years ago, when I was working in the corporate world, uh, my financial advisor at the time, I was one of those people, when I get my quarterly statement, I was looking to see if my money is growing. And if my money was not growing, I was that kind of person that would get on the phone, call my advisor and say, what the hell is going on here? Why did I lose money? And he would always tell me, well, Dada, aren't you watching the market? You know, the market is down. And I had a problem with that. I just don't want to lose money. So for years, I kept going back and forth with him with my 401k, my IRAs. But guess what? Now that I know this information, I fired him. I am my, my own professional money manager. And so can you too. So you know what's going on with your money. You don't have to depend on someone to do it. Or even if you do, you know the right questions to ask. And then last but not least, we teach family how to preserve their wealth. It is so heart rendering seeing 
parents doing everything right and they pass it down to their kids or grandkids and in a matter of a year or two or three year span it is all gone no right we don't want to do that and so ask yourself right now where you have your money right now does it have these four cornerstone is your money set up to grow is your money safe regardless of what the economy is going through do you have tax advantage because tax advantage mean it is tax free and proper protection COVID has taught us so many people that has died with COVID. Imagine if every person had a half a million dollar life insurance policy. Oh man, we would be all rich and turning up right now, right? We would have been lit like the song that I played in the beginning. Every day we lit, right? Half a million dollars. Somebody passed away in your family from COVID and they had a half a million dollar policy. Y'all would have been really lit right now. And so what we do is not only that we educate families, but we put strategies in place to help them get their financial house in order. And so we offer personal financial need analysis, giving people the information, the tools, but more importantly, putting things in place. Some of the workshops that we offer are increasing cash flow, debt management, but guess what? So many of us have debt. And we have no idea when we're going to be debt free. We might be paying the credit cards. We put some money here. We put some money there, but we're not paying it strategically. And I just taught you guys the rule of 72. So imagine you have a credit card earning 12% and you don't understand this rule and you're paying your debt nearly willy. Guess what? You're going to be in debt for a long time and you're losing money, right? And then we teach you how to build a proper financial foundation. Prior to me learning all of this information, I had no idea. I thought I was doing good because I was making six figures. I had 100000 that I saved up. I thought I was doing fabulous. Like I'm saving money, I'm making money, I'm single, I'm young, I'm turning up, doing all that stuff. But even though I was doing all of that and I thought I was go saving money, my financial house was not solid. So today what i know is you could have a lot of money and still be broke if you don't have a proper solid financial foundation then we teach you about proper protection again being a single person i never thought i needed life insurance when somebody approached me about life insurance i'm like girl i got my burial money well duh it's not about burial money right in fact single people like myself with no kids we don't buy life insurance for burial money we buy life insurance to stack our coins and build our wealth and invest and get tax advantage and all that great stuff but if you don't know this information you're gonna think like i did years ago oh i got my burial money it's not about your burial money right so we give you information on building wealth, accumulating asset, retirement planning, which is such a big piece um, because one out of 10 people, oh my God, the statistic is so shocking. We have a society that's gonna retire broke and as a result, they're gonna have to live, work longer or even work in retirement a couple of days per week, right? And then wealth preservation. So these workshops are held every saturdays we even have our own workbook to help you put your information in we have a saving your future book love it love it love it. and it's called saving your future and this book literally will save your future i know it sure did mine and it's one of those books that i'm, I'm constantly even now i'm still revisiting ever so often so why are we doing these webinars because you know what guys timing is everything we are on the next journey where so much wealth, incredible wealth is about to be transferred. Did you guys know in 1946, we had 78, almost 80 million baby boomers born during World War from 1946 to 1964. And every company that has targeted and provided a need or a service for these baby boomers, history is repeating itself. Gerber, they started making baby food, exploded. Mattel, they started making toys for these baby boomers, exploded. McDonald, even today, still exploding. 
cars because as these kids started growing up and they started driving they moved out of their home they moved out of their dorms <coughs> off to finish with college and buying a house the real estate boom and so now these baby boomers are on the retirement end of their career in the next 10 15 to 20 years they're going to be passing down transfer of wealth to their kids and their grandkids who unfortunately have no financial education because first of all we're not teaching this right so imagine you putting yourself in a position to be a financial advisor and help with this wealth transfer because most of the people who were doing this type of work the average financial advisor is about 55 year old the information that they're going to tell you and i is outdated imagine that's like you having a flip phone versus a smartphone today that you do everything you play music you watch video you send email everything from your touch phone so the average 55 year old advent um financial advisor they're on their way out too and even if they are your financial advisor, there's so many things that has changed over the last 10, 20, 30 years that they're not, they're still going to be giving you old information. They're still going to be giving you stuff that, you know, were being done 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, right? And so you guys get to be in a position where you can be with the right company. This is the right time and the right place to be because there's going to be a shortfall my friend by the year 2030 there's going to be a shortfall of about 200,000 financial advisors who's going to help with this massive wealth transfer you are if this is something that you qualify to be so let's talk about who we are our company Aegon has been around for over 176 years longer than your grandparents and my grandparents right they're based in the Netherlands they actually have been ranked as two uh, two on the list of nine companies number two on the list of nine companies listed too big to fail not for the US not for Netherlands, but for the entire global financial system. Too big to fail. So about a hundred years ago, they wanted to make a presence in America. And so they created this company called Transamerica, which most of you, if you have a 401k or some kind of retirement with your job, they are Transamerica that's doing that retirement for you. Or some of you may have a pension. Transamerica also does that. So Transamerica is based in San Francisco. They're our parent company. And then also we have WFG, which is the marketing arm based in Deloitte, Georgia. So our company is incredible, strong credibility, and um, talk about the strength, second to none, but yet still no one or not a lot of you have heard about it. Guess what? Number two on the list, number two too big to fail so let's look at some numbers about 42,000 licensed agents across the North America that's US and Canada 42,000 in fact it's actually more than 42 because of all these deaths that has happened with COVID because of all of these people that have lost their job and continue to lose their job so many people were given the opportunity to work with us from a remote standpoint COVID has been a blessing unfortunately for our business so 42,000 plus licensed agents we have almost a th we have almost a hundred it says 94 here but it's almost a hundred now people making a million dollars since 2001 listen I don't know about you guys but being in corporate America or think about your job, can you ever make a million dollars at your job? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Even as a professor, none of my faculty or the dean of my university is making a million dollars. So the fact that you could even possibly remotely think about 
making a million dollars is mind blowing because that would never even be a thought with your job, right? So we've had about 4.2 million families since 2001. And again, these numbers are really not 100% accurate because since COVID hit, since 2020 hit, we've helped, we've, our numbers have just skyrocketed across the board. 259 home office employees and business has increased year over year, 7.34% in sales. And then we work with 77 product providers. Guys, we do not own any product. We are contracted with some of the best financial companies in the country. Companies that gives us the power of choices. When I sit with a family, I can truly help that family because I have choices for them right? Companies like Frankel Templeton Investment, Transamerica, Everest, Prudential, Pacific, Nationwide, that everybody knows the jingle because they're on our side and so many more top rated A business company about a hundred years and above. So we can truly help our clients. So when you think of our organization, we are like the financial service compared to an Amazon. So then you know how you could go on Amazon and buy anything. When it comes to World Financial Group, you come to us, we can help you from birth to burial. Did you guys hear that? From birth to burial. We could help you with college planning. We could help you with retirement planning. We could help you with your debt. We could help you with your business. We could help you with your home. We could help you with every facet of financial aspect that you'll need from birth to burial and so it's a big deal right and because we have 77 different product providers we have choices we're not you know gonna stick you into doing this one company because that's all we have no and so how about the compensation there's several different ways that if you qualify because i'm gonna be honest with you guys we are not looking for everybody we are looking for people who are hungry we are looking for people who want to help others because guess what? I've learned in this business that when you help other people get what they want, you also are going to get what you want. In my corporate hotel sales, I've made a lot of money, but I wasn't always helping people because if you want to stay in the penthouse and the penthouse is $2,000, give me your credit card. I don't care if you got debt. I don't care if you're behind on your bills. Just give me a credit card and I'm going to swipe it and you got that penthouse. But here we get to truly help families with their personal finance and make good money too. So there's several ways that you can make money. You can make money with your personal pen, meaning you just sitting with a client and helping them with their finances, right? You could have agency income if you choose to build a team or expand, right? Because with our license and credential, you're not just limited to your territory or to your city or to your state. You can help people any part of the U.S. And this is what I love about this business. I'm based here in New York, but I have clients all over the U.S., even in Canada, right? You could have expansion income anywhere in North America. On top of it, you could have bonus and recurring income. I've done so many things in my job and there was no such thing as recurring income. Here, you get to have recurring income. So imagine 10, 20 years in this business. All the people that you help, all the clients that you've brought on board, all the agents that you've trained, at some point, even your second year, it's going to be recurring income. So guess what? You don't have to know everything. If you're hungry to learn and you want to make a difference in your life and other people's life, you can make money and learn as you earn in the financial industry. You can learn and earn. Some jobs, you may learn and earn, but how much? How much are you going to get paid? So let's talk about how much. When everyone starts with us, they are a trainee. This is your entry level position. 30%, 30% of what? Guess what? We don't get paid to put people in debt or to make people spend. We get paid to educate a family about their finances and we get paid to help people save their money, right? 
So when you save in your money, you can be lit every day right so imagine you sit with a client you educate them about their 401k you educate them about their 403b you educate them about their pension or whatever it is they have for themselves or maybe they have nothing and you show them a strategy of how to save their money smart let's say that family is saving 250 per month that's 3,000 per year as an entry level position trainers training associate $900 the company pays you but we're not going to talk about the trainee position. We're going to talk about the associate position because now as an associate, you're at a higher contract level. What does that mean? More money. And we love more money, right? If not for us, for the kids and the grandkids. So now at a 45% contract, assuming again, same 250 you helping a client save 1350 guys, ask yourself this question at your job right now. How long does it take you to make $1,350? I hear it every day. Two weeks, three weeks, right? Maybe a week if it's a good, you know, if you're making good money, maybe a week. Do you guys want to know how long it takes us to make $1,350 here? If you're a beginner, you're now starting out, probably three hours of your time three hours of your time to make 1350 as you advance as you get better the time compresses so maybe you might spend two hours maybe you might spend an hour right depending on how complex that client financials may be but guess what some people are going to save more and some people are going to save less so if they save more money it's more money for you too right and you could advance all the way to senior marketing director, which is where I am. Shout out to me, right? Being in this business for three years. So now as a senior marketing director, let's look at the average earnings. You can make anywhere from 86,000 upwards to a million dollars. Guys, I've been in the hotel corporate sales for about 16 years. I would never make a million dollars never make a million dollars not in my wildest dream on top of it I had a cap on my income see if I have a cap they're stifling me and I'm really not getting paid my full word or my full potential that's what a job will do for you they're capping you on how much you can earn and if you have a job you will never never ever be paid what you are truly worth but here the average senior director makes 86 to a million and that's average I know average chick and I know y'all are not average people either. So because we're not average, we have the potential to make more than a million dollars, right? And I want to say that you want to be free until you're financially free because I spoke with a client yesterday and I said, you know what, when you are old, you don't want to be broke. And when you're old, you definitely don't want to be sick and broke. So you're not free until you're financially free. Now I know money's not everything, but if you're old and you got a lot of coins, guess what? Your kids and your grandkids and strangers will be around you. You'll be placed in the best nursing home if that's where you choose to go. Or you'll be in your house with a private nurse or a home health aide. Financial freedom <laughs> is what this platform allows you. So let's talk about our leadership team, none other than Jonathan Marion, our executive vice chairman who makes a million dollars per year. He is my mentor. Oh my God, we go back and forth. I've learned so much from him. Because of him, I can say I am a much better person than I am today, right? And this guy has such a big heart. He started with the company when he was just 18 years old. Oh my God, his mom, his dad, his friends, everybody was probably telling him, what the hell are you doing? Go to school, get a job, do this, do that. Well, guess what? Who's laughing now, okay? Who's laughing now? Talking about get a job. How about I give you a job now, <laughs> right? Amazing, amazing human being and pour so much into the team. These are some of our key um, leadership team. We have Payam and his wife. And um, we have Alma, who actually was an insurance. She had her own insurance agency. Uh, Edward, oh my God, you can tell Edward was in, and still is, I believe, part-time doing hairdresser. But guys, 
even a hairdresser. And one of the things that Edward said is if he was still doing hairdressing work today, he would have been really up the creek because social distancing. First of all, people don't have a lot of discretionary income to be getting their hair done. Okay. Wigs is the way to go and it's cheaper too. Right. And so we have so many examples of people who are from all walks of life that came here, learned the business, got their credentials and are helping so many people. Right. Amazing. Amazing. Rory and Andrea, my God, they're coming from the entertainment field, made a lot of money, help rappers made a lot of money. But guess what? With no financial education, they're still broke right all of these rappers that we see flossing the chains flossing the house flossing the car guess what they're still broke because they're not saving and investing and they don't even know this information right so on top of it association is everything there's some people that come here and they just want to make a thousand two thousand three thousand but that's because they don't know any better when you come here you're buying into a culture you're buying into an environment of winning of becoming the next best version of yourself because of this opportunity i was able to meet et oh my god these are people that i would have never even known about much less get to meet them right Irving Magic Johnson, of course we heard about him, but actually being in a room at a conference and him just literally walking besides me and me touching him and talking to him. And of course, none other than John Maxwell, the father and leader of the founder of leadership. Oh my God, all of these people, we get to literally learn from them. And if it wasn't for WFG, you wouldn't even get access to these people. And even if you were getting access, you would have had to pay a lot of money. So I tell people, you may come here thinking you want to save money, or you may come here thinking you just want to make a couple of thousand, but you're going to get so much more, right? So much more you're going to get. And I'm a prime example of this, even though, you know, I came from a very good upbringing, graduated from NYU, professor, corporate hotel sales, like all of that means nothing to me compared to what I'm doing here today, really impacting the family's life. And so can you. And so let me ask you something, guys. Life is all about choices. Where you guys are today is a direct reflection of what you've done or decision that you've made in the last 5, 10, 15 years of your life. So guess what? What would your future look like 10 years from now, 15 years from now? What would your future look like? I don't know about you guys, but my future is real bright, right? You get a chance to come here and learn. Learn about your money. Learn how money works. Get a complimentary financial assessment and see what's going on with your money. Because everybody has to retire. Everybody's going to die. And everybody, hopefully, maybe will have kids or grandkids. And if you don't have any like me, my nieces and nephews are going to be forever talking about Auntie Odetta. Right? So come and learn about your future. Learn to save your future. You can become an entrepreneur get licensed in the financial service you don't have to know anything you just have to be hungry and willing to learn and we will train you from a to z make your own schedule when i was in corporate america i hate it i hate it even though i had a nice job i hated waking up eight o'clock or having to be at work for eight o'clock and my time I'm not in control of. I had to ask when to go on vacation. Like I gotta ask when to go on vacation. Based on my income, that's gonna dictate where I'm gonna go on vacation because that's how much I can afford. Based on my income, that's gonna dictate where my kids are gonna go to school. Here, I get to make my own schedule. I get to wake up whenever I wanna wake up. I get to design my day. I get to decide if I wanna go to Dubai tomorrow, if I want to go to Guyana, if I want to go to California, right? And still work on my own schedule. You can't do that with a job. You got to ask for permission, right? On top of it, being self-employed or having a business gives you much more tax benefits. I could write a lot of things off, right? 
and become something bigger. Be something, be part of something that's bigger. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, if you are born poor, it is not your mistake. It is not your mistake. But if you die poor, it darn well sure is your mistake. Because each and every one of you, and there's over a hundred of you on this webinar right now, and I'm actually also streaming live on Facebook, and each and every one of you have gotten a taste of what it's like to change your future. You've got a choice today. You can say, you know what, and I'm going to pull up a poll right now for you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch a poll. Let us know, but you have a chance to change the narrative of what the next five or ten years is going to look like. And some of you might be saying, but that it's COVID, it's this, it's that. Well, listen, you can make excuse or you can make money. Which one is it going to be? Do you want to make excuse or do you want to make money? And if you guys follow me on my social media, you know I talk a lot about stacking coins. And we are looking for people who want to make money. We are looking for people who are hungry, who want to help others, who want to fix their own financial life. So your options are you could schedule a consultation to get a free financial analysis, a free financial checkup, know exactly what's going on with your money. What is your financial goal? Do you want to retire rich? Do you want to send your kids to school debt free? What is your financial goal? And because most of us were never taught about money, we're winging it. No more time to wing it. So I encourage you guys, when we hang up, get on the phone, thank the person who invited you to this webinar, but most importantly, set up a free consultation and get to the person who invited you to learn more and let us know if you want to get a financial checkup or learn about the opportunity. You can come in part-time or you can come in full-time. Some of you are not working right now. And some of us know people who are not working right now. So what have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing and absolutely 100% everything to gain. Start with your own life. Get your finances in order. And also, if you're the right person, because like I said, we are not looking for everybody. We want that one person who is going to go out there and champion our cause for financial education and help people across the entire North America be financially free. Because you're not free until you're financially free. And like Bill Gates said, you were born poor, it's not your fault. A lot of us like to, you know, be a victim. Okay, you were born poor, it's not your fault. But you sure darn will be your fault if you die poor. Because each and every one of you right now have gotten an opportunity to change the story. Get in touch with the person who invited you. Let's make a difference in your life and go out and help other people with their finance. And as I like to say, stack a whole lot of coins. So thank you guys so much for joining. If I'm the one that invited you, make sure when I hang up, you pick up the phone and call me and other people who invited you, get on the phone right now tonight, set up that call to make an appointment to get the ball rolling. 2020 may have started rocky, but it does not have to end rocky. Thanksgiving is coming. Christmas is coming. And I know you guys are going to want to have gifts under those trees. I know you're going to want to put a kids on, a smile on your kid's face. And you're going to want to be smiling too. So let's get to working, y'all. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm going to leave the poll up. And again, it's been an honor, a pleasure. This coming Saturday, we have our financial workshop, which is going to be on investment and savings. And of course, tomorrow we'll be back right here, 9 p.m. Thank you guys again.